Miami did to the Cavs. Switching up zone and doing a lot of different defensive things and as far as keeping the Cavaliers' offense kind of down. To see if this is going to be a potential three-point play. There's the shot by Morris on Richard. Man, Richard's had a rough go in this first half. He got Whoa. shot in the throat by Thompson. Morris set the seven-footer flying. Yeah. Ooh, they might call it on that. So they're going to take a look at that yeah. as well. It did appear that that foul, timing-wise, occurred before Miller went into his shooting mode. There's no question. That was before the gather. So this is not going to be an and one. That shot by Miller went down. That should be nullified. But we now wait to see whether this will be a flagrant foul. And if so, a flagrant one or a flagrant two. A flagrant one is one that's unnecessary. A flagrant two is unnecessary and excessive. Flagrant two carries with it an ejection. And we are going to have to see. It's going to be one or the other. I mean, but at the same time, I like the fact that the, the physical play. But after the illegal contact occurs prior to the start of the upward shooting motion, therefore the shot does not count. As it relates to a flagrant foul, the play has been upgraded to a flagrant foul penalty too. Marcus Morris has been ejected from the game unnecessary and excessive contact. It'll be two shots for Richards. Charlotte's ball. Morris heads down the runway and back to the Cavalier locker room as he has been ejected. Now you kind of figured that. So what happens here? A flagrant one or a flagrant two? The team that was fouled will get two free throws and the ball back. The Cavs will go the rest of the way without their...